Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jeffrey Way, and in this quick tip, I want to show you something that you may not know about. So chances are you are a jQuery user, but did you know that as of version 1.8, you can build your own copies of jQuery? So when would you do this? Well, imagine that you're working on a small project, and this project has no need for jQuery's Ajax capabilities or jQuery's CSS capabilities. Well, in those situations, it sure is a shame to have a file that has all of that required code for doing AJAX and then never take advantage of it. So in these situations, it's ideal to have a custom build of jQuery that removes those modules. And I'll show you how to do that in this quick video. It only takes a couple minutes. However, before we move forward, there's a handful of tools that you need to have available. If you're a relatively modern web dev, then likely you already have these things. For example, you want to get Node.js installed. These days, it's a one-click install. Click install, open the package, you're done. And that will also install Node Package Manager, NPM. Next, you want the Grunt tool created by Ben Allman. If you haven't checked this out, it's fantastic. You can refer to NetTouch for some tutorials on it. And also, it's been integrated into the recently released Yeoman. And then finally, of course, you want to have Git installed. So if you don't have any of these three things, then chances are you probably don't need to worry about this. You're not quite to that level where you need to be making these sorts of optimizations. It's not that huge of a deal at this point. All right, moving forward. When you have those installed, the first thing you want to do is clone the jQuery repo. So I'm within my desktop, and I'm going to clone that in. It'll just take around 30 seconds or so. Next, I'm going to CD into that directory. And now we need to make sure that we install any necessary dependencies. If you're a Ruby on Rails developer, likely you do something like bundle. However, with Node.js, we run npm install, which is essentially the same thing. So that'll install a bunch of things that we need. And now at this point, if you simply want to build the latest version of jQuery, run grunt. So now take a look. The build tool is run, and the file has been added to dist slash jQuery. So let's go ahead and open this. And now if we go into the directory, here is jQuery.js. It's around 260K. If we want to open this in Mac Vim, we can see it's roughly 9,300 lines. All right, but this time we're going to build it again. But the difference is we don't want the Ajax module built in. So let's go back. And now I'm going to run grunt. We're going to do a custom build. And we're going to subtract the Ajax module, minus Ajax. There we go. So now if I come back, and once again, we open this new file within MacVim. Now you can see it's around 8,000 lines. So isn't that cool? We can simply strip all of that code out if we're not going to be taking advantage of it. And then if you need to add more, so maybe grunt, custom, and we're going to subtract Ajax, and we also want to subtract maybe deprecated, things we don't use there. We run it. That's all finished. And one last time, let's go ahead and open that in MacVim. And now we've reduced the file size even further. And that's it. I promise this was an easy one. It only takes you a couple minutes. And you very well might find that this is something that you want to implement into your projects. My name is Jeffrey Way, and always stay tuned to NetTouch for the latest and greatest tips, tutorials, and screencasts.